dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Lord is calling us to reflect on the gospel according to John chapter 12 verse 1 to 11. This incident happened six days before the Passover where Jesus went to Bethany where Lazarus was whom Jesus had raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. Martha served Jesus and Lazarus was one of those who were with Jesus on the table. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure nerd and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was to betray Jesus, said, why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and as he had the money box which he used to take what was put in it. That is where I would like us to reflect, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Judas had the money box that was made for the collection of the poor, and now he is called a thief just because he used to take for himself what was to be given to the poor. This is exactly what is happening in our communities today. We see the government officials filling their pockets with what is supposed to be given to the poor. They follow their own selfish interest. They follow their greedy hearts or desires. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we also have these people in our churches. People who are elected to take care of the poor, our, our representatives in Caritas, but some of these are thieves. They first see what is still in good condition and take for themselves and their children, and what is not good will be left for the poor, and that is called theft. They are stealing what belongs to the poor. They do not care about the hungry and the suffering people, but their own selfish interests and their desires always comes first. They are not willing to deny themselves for the sake of the poor. But today, this gospel is teaching us the importance of the intention of the donor. Let us not be like Judas, who saw that he did not get what he wanted, and went far with his heart, breathing threat, breathing threat and, be, and betrayed Jesus for money. Let us not be greedy people because we are Christians. We are supposed to, to have enough of only what we need, not more than enough. In this Holy Week, we are called to love one another. We are called to take care of one another. We are called to take care of the poor. We are called to share what we have with the poor and our brothers and sisters in Christ lest our selfish interest will lead us to sin. Amen.